you guys are gonna love you. Thank you. Is that what you're gonna say? Yes, it's Thank okay. You. The thing is, I love you too now. It makes no difference, I know that. Okay, I love you too. Are you happy now? I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll call you, okay? Call me. Don't kiss that man, don't kiss him. Don't kiss him. My friend, stay there. That was your problem. What is he had to the door? Nonsense. That's my baby. This girl too fine, I'm big. He's ready, eh? Yes. Okay, I'm coming. Let somebody watch them. We can't walk back on the phone now for this because no one let us watch this film now. See the movement of this car. Take it for immediate check now, now, okay? Yes, and make sure it's fit. And then come back tomorrow at this time to pick me up. All right, sir. Okay. Have a nice trip, sir. Thank you. What's he had to the dog? Nonsense. 
still persists. You didn't take this car to the garage as I told you. I was there, Chief, but Samson said I should bring it back in touch today. I'll go there immediately and drop you, sir. Then you should have used another car. I don't like it when a car makes a noise like this. Sir, the S-Class is due for checkup, sir. Then you should have used the Lexus. Sir, I thought you always preferred this Jeep. Not when it has become a lousy bit. I'm very, very sorry, sir. But I'm sorry. Take it to the garage, okay? Yes, sir.
was told you shouldn't. Who are you? My, my name is Pascal. I'm a fan of yours. More than a fan if you don't mind. I don't accept flowers from strangers. Listen, Jaina, you're on TV. Everybody knows you. I mean, no face should be strange to you. How do you expect me to react to faces that I've never seen before? Hmm? But listen, um... Pascal. I may be on TV, but you're not, and I don't know you. Please don't reject this. Please. It will gladden my heart if you'd accept it. I also believe it will aid your quick recovery too. How did you get in here? Um, well, I... Jane. How, how did he get in here, Doctor? Yeah, because he brought you. Brought me? Yeah, in his car. I thought the police said that there was no other problem. No, the mobile policeman has caught him. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, you should have told me. It wasn't necessary. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm not having problem there. I saw you at the scene of the accident. That stupid Okada man. You know, he almost broke my spine. God forbid. And whose films would I be watching if he had succeeded? Talking about films, I really, really have to be on set right now. Set? Yeah. Jane, what a pleasure to have my screen idol with him. Nurse, I have to go. Go? No, I can't. Sorry. But nobody can stop me anyway. By the way, have you seen my car? Miss Jane Harriet, the doctor will stop you. Well, he'd better not stop me. Well, let's get that for him to sit. And the earlier, the better. I have to go. Pascal. Pascal, did you see my car? Um, the police took it away. I have to go home then. I really have to go. Ouch! Please take, take it easy. Are you sure? Yeah, I just wish I could just see the doctor now so I can just, you know, tell him I have to go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll call him for you. Doctor, I have to go. And of course, if you pass my examinations, so why not? first thing tomorrow, okay? Just give me the benefit. For that. You? Yes, uh, I'm free now and um, you know, I have a vehicle. I don't know, I, I, I could drop you. Okay. No problem, no problem. I'll, I'll help you with this. 
to you. Like syrup. Mr. Fantastic, I'm so I could like you, Mr. Lover. Oh, yeah, your lyrical lover, Mr. Romantic. Baby, I'm the best in this. I give you a candlelight dinner just for me and you under the moon, sailing on a summer night crew. I mean to rock your world, baby. They set you free from a world so crazy. Girl, surrender to my love. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm the best indeed. Oh, baby, leave it to me. I'll give you all the loving that you need. I'll take you right to the clouds and put your little mind at ease. Oh, baby, leave it to me. I'll give you all the loving that you need I'll take you right to the clouds And put your little mind at ease Your love, I like Oh baby girl No love, I die I'll give you all the love that you need Love needs expression Touch me some more For real Oh I'm so lucky it's been so great. I got you out of my screen, baby. I need to my arms. I'm living out my fantasy. My fantasy. Nice car you have here. Yeah. Um, minus the noise from the engine. But that doesn't change the fact that it's a powerful car. The noise is temporary. Oh, sure. Because I'm. Um, Going to the garage straight away. It's really nice. Must have cost a fortune. Cars like this do, don't they? Certainly. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm, I'm a businessman. That's a general term. I'm particular about your area of specialty. <laughs> I should drop you. Oh, location. Location? Yeah, I was in the middle of a movie before I got hit. My director will be laying square eggs by now. So, where's the location? I'm on the estate. But I can take a cab if you're not going that way. No, 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 no not at all. No, no problems. Um, wherever it is you're going, and I'll drop you. I mean, it's a pleasure riding right? with a beautiful lady. She turns out to be the best artist on TV. Then it's more than a pleasure, you know what I mean? I don't like flattery, Pastor. Now you're breaking my heart. So. This anniversary. What? Jesus Christ. Look, did you look for her? Yes, sir. John! What's up? I can't find Jenny. Why? Why she, she just vanished? You know, like maybe she just went nuts and, 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 and walked. Nobody goes not after signing a 50 million naira contract. Point exactly. Now, I thought so, but what else can I say? You know, I can't find her. Um, have you considered something bad happening to her? No, 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 no. John, that, that is not a, a possibility. You know, nothing bad can happen to her. Uh, why my money is tied around her neck? You know. She's not supposed to have an accident. And she could have called. I called her phones and I can't 
Can't get her on the phone. Look, Rump. Sir. Nobody, all right? Nobody just vanishes into the teen air, all right? So you get your boys, pay who you need to pay, just dig her out. Wherever she is, just pry her out for me, okay? Yes, sir. I said, now, John, give them some money, whatever they need. Just, just go, man. Hello, my John. No, sir. Sir, each, each time I switched it on, the thing went off, sir. I think my handset has developed a, a problem, sir. So, what kept you? Sir, I, I had to, you know, go look for something. Then, you know, something, I don't know, it was just wasting my time. And I... I, I, I it's all right. I... Pick your call. Hello? 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 You see, sir, this is what it has been doing all day. Then, take it to repair. And if it persists, get another one. Yes, 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 sir. I called the guard two hours after you dropped me. So, where have you been? Sir, sir. The thing that happened was that uh, I had two flat tires at the same time. So I had to pack the car, you know, jack it up and, you know, enter an Okada and go and look for a, a, a vulcanizer who was like three kilometers away, sir. When is my jeep coming home? Tomorrow, sir. Take Madame's car to the airport. She's arriving at 6.30. Yes, sir. Pascal, sir, do some work on that your phone. All right, sir. <sighs> hey, Chao Su, Chao Su, now for you. You want to disgrace me in front of Chief? Alright now, alright, I'll be there tomorrow. How the beeps and how the beeps. Check! My own man, my own man, you are just enjoying without your man, don't be so. Okay now, okay now, we'll block you tomorrow. Alright. I'm smooth, just like syrup. Mr. Fantastic, I'm soft, I could like you. Mr. Lover, oh yeah. Your lyrical lover, Mr. Romantic. Baby, I'm the best in this. I give you a candlelight dinner just for me and you. You really meant it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I mean everything, you know, especially when a pretty lady is involved. Interesting. Well, it's not just interesting, it's actually a matter of principle. Yeah, principal meant for some pretty lady, you know. You know, you sound more like a movie actor. You're just so full of movie dialogues. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, um, what do you expect after days of being around my favorite movie actress? <laughs> there you go again. Down the 
How's your schedule? Um, I just finished work for today. I've located my car. It's at uh, Makinde police station. So I want to go pick it up now. Yeah, you can count yourself lucky because I'm off to the airport myself. Wow, yeah, like again. <laughs> you know, you really have a way with cars. Well, I did actually learn driving before I left primary school. Sorry. Here comes trouble. I will handle you later. Who's that? A producer, McDonald. Yeah. Don't worry, let's just go. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll deal with it later. Sneak around in this? McDonald, I am not a prisoner. Who says you are, darling? Your arrangements felt like nothing else to me. Listen, we have a six month contract running for 50 million naira, right? And this is the first month, and look at what you're doing to me, girl. What? This. I leave you for a few weeks and you sneak around, you get hit by an Okada. Come on. McDonald, I have a right to my privacy, and whatever I choose to do with it is my business, all right? It doesn't matter if I'm knocked down by a baby's toy. I'm human, I'm a woman, and I have my priorities. No, 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 no! You don't have no priorities out of me anymore, okay? I'm your priority, okay? And, and from now on, no more sneaking with lover boy, all right? You are going to be driving around with this, and the bikes, and the bodyguards and everything, because you are the hottest in Hollywood, okay? Come, come with me, girl. Come and, come and inspect your right. I am not kidding. This is no film trick. This is no stage, eh? Come, girl, come. Come on, girl. Hey, 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 hey! Shut him up.
15 minutes ago, I called the house. Chief said you were on your way. I had a problem. I had a problem with the police. Uh, they believed that I was too young to own the car. And when I told them I wasn't the owner, they presumed I stole it. You know, it took quite some convincing, ma'am. And why were you not picking your calls? Madam, my handset has developed a problem. I'll look into it tomorrow, ma'am. Please you have here. What do you want? Brandy? Juice? Mm. What is it? Did I ask you in? Sorry, madam. Just checking. Order from the boss. Go back to your station. But, madam. Get out! He believes he owns me until my contract with him expires. Well, I can't blame the man, can I? Oh, look, I'm sorry, okay? I was about to ask you what you would drink. Oh, yeah, um, still remember your palatable list. Um, but I'd prefer water, thank you. Water? Sure, water. Okay. All right. <laughs>
I never knew you artists live in such elegant style, yeah? What? You probably think we're paid peanuts. No, no, no. Honestly, believe me, I, I think I'm in the wrong profession, you know? We're talking about profession. It brings yeah. me to my question. Thank you. What line of business are you in, anyway? Reputation. Another general term. Now let's climb the roof step by step, okay? Really? Okay. Listen, I'd like to go for Steph now, okay? Steph? Yeah, my daughter. She's in school. Oh, are you married? Um, yes and no. What do you mean, yes and no? Well, according to the popular saying, let's climb the steps one after the other. <laughs> Wrong game. Seems you don't let an opening go without you throwing in a punch, huh? Another movie dialogue. Oh, I really have to go now. Oh yeah, um, still got time on my hands. Um, I'd love to go with you too, and that's if you don't mind. No, the pleasure is mine. That's if you can spare the time. Now what's time when one is in the company for very very charming lady. Thank you. You're welcome. Some other time. Right now, I've got some business matters to attend. Okay, I'll be looking forward to the some other time. Nice 
girl. What have you done to my child? She's normally very shy with strangers. I don't know what's come over her. Providence. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> The pleasure is always mine, huh? Have you been? Post officer. Come over here immediately. Come on. Yes, uh, PZ. Yes, sir. Wait. Take this handset. Change that handset of yours, okay? Thank you very much. Sir. It's all right. I'm 45 minutes behind schedule. I'm, I'm very grateful. It's all right. Fast player. 
coming from you, this is unbelievable. No, when the topic is women, you can't believe anything about me. Yeah, you can really say that again. Yes, I will say it again and again. Listen, my friend, why don't you get down to business? Leave her own. Look, I don't just blame you at all. Hello, princess. How you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um Okay, 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 I'll do that for you, alright? Okay then. Bye. Kiss her on the phone! Man, who was that on the phone? Jane. Man, you're already in gold! Wait, there's, there's a problem. What? She wants me to take her daughter home from school. Her daughter? Yes, she has a daughter. Don't ask me the details. I don't know. So what are you waiting for? Don't you get? Today is my off day. I can't touch any of Chief's cars. But you just mean, agreed to do that now. I mean, just to gain some time to think. Man, stop buzzing your brains, man. Use the taxi. Taxi? Yes. Guy, I don't get. I don't have a dime. I'll loan you. You loan me. Yeah. Man, I have this man straight off from my heart, from me to you, with much love. No interest. Just take this girl out, blow her mind, take a round time, and have a nice time. You know. You really sound like a devil's advocate. And you are the devil. <laughs> Boy. I wonder how she'll feel the day she finds out I'm a mare driver. Oh boy, that would be the deal. Man, you need to die first before you're buried. Hey, take this girl out, man. You got enough money there. Take her out, blow her mind, and have a nice time. Um, are you a friend of mommy? So. Yes, always quarrel with your mom. Well, I won't quarrel with your mom. Promise? Is it a promise I can Well, if your mom behaves, then I won't quarrel with her. That's not encouraging. Are you a gentleman? That's a relative term. Okay, do you love mommy? Hey, Stephanie! Pastor? Yes, definitely. Do you love mommy? Stop this, will you? Please. Pastor, please now. Do you love mommy? Why are you towing this line? I mean, you're just a kid. This is way beyond you, way beyond your jurisdiction. She's my mother. Yes. And I have every right to know. Do you love her? Listen, we're just friends, okay? I mean... It's not that kind of relationship you're thinking about. But she loves you. And what makes you so certain? She might be an actress, but she's never good at hiding things from me. She stopped trying. She told me herself. Told you what? That she's in love with you.
But now listen to me, I, I, I am sick and tired of all this. When, when is this whole thing ending? I'm, I'm tired, I'm frustrated. Well, enjoy your moment, Jimmy. I am no president, Mato. I don't know any other president. You are my president right now, my superstar, okay? Four months remaining in your contract and then you can be a normal person. Enjoy. No, 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 listen, listen to me. I can't take this anymore, I can't take it. I, it has got to stop, I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm tired. Ask you something. Shit. Have you ever really fallen in love before? Have I ever fallen in love before? Yes, um, genuinely, I mean. Uh, why the question? Because um, it's important to me. Very important. and broken marriage. I think you got something to offer. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I think you, you haven't seen nothing yet. Really? Good. Now, I, I, uh, I want to make you an offer. I'm all yours for the asking. An offer that I think you can't refuse. But first, um, how good an actress do you think Jane is? Jane Harriot? Yeah. Who else? She's the best. You see, there's this gist in town mm. about the G5 actors. Sincerely speaking, I think Jane is G1. You think so? Hmm? Okay. Good. Um, would you say if somebody uh, maybe ties her up with a uh, a deal, would you say the person would have done well if the person gives her like a six picture deal for six months for 50 million now? Would you think that the person did a good deal? Somebody has? No, I'm just saying, you know, if somebody was to be crazy enough to do that, I mean, would you say the person did a good deal? Look, any guy that does that must be the smartest guy in town. Hmm. Well, thank you. You're thanking me? Yeah, I just did. I'm just, I'm the crazy guy. I just. Did. Come on! No, 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 you're, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. 
You mean you hired Jane Harriot for a six picture deal for six months mm -hmm. for 50 million? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, how, how, how would you like to direct most of those films, at least uh, 80%? Hey, come on. I'm here for you, man. Alright. Here. You know, study those, you know, do me a good treatment. And then you can come back here or call the script writers or sit down, dot the I's, cross the T's, you know, and just take it from there. Ah. Thank you. Good work. Thank you so much. Um, I just have to tell you one thing. Faith in me is not misplaced. You just maintain the faith. And you're smiling to the banks. Oh, that's the general idea. You have a good one, man. All right. See ya. Okay. Okay. What's next? So, what about you? Have you? Now let's talk about you first. What are you doing? You're serious, aren't you? Genuinely serious. Your mom is busy on set. Always busy? Yes, I mean, she's a star, you know. I guess so. And stop guessing, Steph. Your mom's a star, a big star, the biggest of them all. <laughs> what? I'm happy. Of course, every kid's got to be happy, you know, being the baby of a big star. That's not exactly why I'm happy. Then what? Maybe because you love her. And what makes you so certain? The eyes. The eyes? Yes, my teacher told me the eyes never lie. Then tell your teacher that no one becomes a saint through other people's sins. There's a harlot in every woman, if you must know. What? Yes! The attraction! Charles! Man! Who are you having this guilt for? Is it Jane? Ha 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 so what you gonna make you laugh now, eh? What's the amusement all about? Man, you amuse me! I amuse you. Of course, sure! No one, not even a babe in the movie industry deserve this St. Michael approach of yours. woman in the movie industry. Yeah! See, let me tell you something. A lot goes beyond the screen art. When the camera goes down, a lot goes down with the camera. And that will make even your Jane Harriot look like a powder puff, a chart. How do you know I, I, I'm an actor? I don't have to be an actor. I'm a big boy. 
See, I have a friend in the movie industry who is a director. And I'll tell you something, right? Any laughs that he cannot see and value is not worth seeing, my friend. It's not worth seeing. Ah, Charles. Charles. Yes. Have you ever heard about the word love? Yeah. Have you ever heard about the word love? Who hasn't come across that in one dictionary or the other? Look, it doesn't only exist in the dictionary, but it's also for real. For weaklings like you. Yes. Look, every woman is meant for playing around with, and after that, you leave. You try to give much more, all you get is entangled, and the trap is sprung. Charles. Yes. Charles. When you're this. Come on, wake up, my friend, wake up. Hey, catch your phone. Look, let me tell you something. All you need to do is catch your phone. You chose to be a driver, that's your choice. Man, go and take a look at yourself in a big size mirror. And all you see is that the difference between you and every other big boy out there is that you chose not to be a big boy. That your driver does not make you disfigured. You just chose not to be a big boy, that's it. Come on, grow up, my friend, grow up. This is a new day. It's morning time. Shut up! How can, how can JJ come here? Jay, Jay, sir. Oh, no, no, mind this here, man. Before it was JJ, now, now it's Jay. Pascal, sir. keep out of this. Sorry, sir. Yes, Jay. Jay, sir. Yes, sir. What does she want? She says she doesn't no want anything, sir. What was she doing here? She says she wants to see you, sir. To see me? Yes, sir. Jay. Do I know anybody by that name? It's all right. Open the gate. to the house? Yeah, I just left there now. Oh, oh, oh I, I just drove in myself. Okay, then let me come back. I still have an hour before I pick Stephanie. No, 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 no. Why? It's a wonderful place you have there. Oh, well, well, thank you. Thank you. Um, but you see, right now I'm my business partner, okay? And um, we'll be going to the airport in the next 30 minutes. See, I'll get in touch with you later. All right, then, darling. I love you. I love you right back, baby. Bye. You be good now. Okay. Oh, this guy go put me for trouble. He go put me for trouble. This time you see me no come. Come here. He go put me for trouble. Me too. 
you. Sure. Why? Is it because you've seen mommy in a lot of movies? Well, sweetie, I'm happy to because mommy has paid her dues more than my dues. Well, that is not exactly why I'm happy for mommy. So why are you happy for mommy? We love her. Stephanie? But mommy, you told me you were in love with Uncle Pascal. Stephanie, you are too young to be saying things like that. But mommy, you always say I'm your best friend. I'm your best friend, it's true. But sweetie, at your age, you shouldn't be mommy, saying Mommy, he loves you too. Stephanie, will you stop? Yes, mommy, he loves you very greatly. Stop it. But how do you know? The eyes, mommy. Auntie Shema said, the eyes don't lie. Jesus Christ, Stephanie, you are reaching far beyond your boundaries. So, Mom, what do you mean by boundaries? Oh, shut up. Come here. <laughs> anyway, Mom is looking so gorgeous today. Oh, thank you, darling. What's the secret? Well, good food. <laughs> The script? Uh, yes, I, I've gone through the script. It's all good. Beautiful story. Well written. I think we are good to go. So, uh, do I need to call the writers so we can, you know, do some things, adjustments here and there? No, 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 no. I, I don't think we need to add anything here except, you know, maybe one or two touches here and there. You know? Okay. Uh, Jack is already doing the other two scripts. So I reckon that in another two weeks, you can jump in. So, item seven. <laughs> Finance. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. don't need the money, don't you? <laughs> okay, let's go. We're talking the okay. okay. Oh, Jane, hurry 
blood. What? Flesh and blood. Are you serious? For me. Is that a card? Yes. Give it to me, give it to me. Let me see, let me see. Hey, it's true. For real. Huh? Okay, let me, let me, let me give it to a girl like that. I don't fancy the idea of you creeping in on me like that. Creeping up on you? Yeah, I mean, visiting my office, my home without you calling. Call that, would you call that creeping up on you? Well, it's hardly anything else. How could you call it that? I love surprises and I just wanted to walk in on you unexpectedly. You could walk into what you never bargained for thereby getting surprised yourself. Well, let that be my funeral then. Easier said than done. What's wrong with you? And by the way, what do you mean by you could walk into something that could surprise you yourself? That? You're not a kid, are you? No. Pascal, I'd like to ask you something. What? Why aren't you married? Married? Yeah, I mean, you've got all the money, you're educated, and, and you're old enough, so what are you waiting for? Marriage, my dear, is the last refuge for the impotent. What? See, what I mean is, marriage is not all about having money, okay? It's also about one coming of age. Mental age, I mean. Well, haven't you heard that marriage is a great institution? I've heard about that institution. But see, this man is not ready for that institution yet. Pascal, you're scaring me. Why would you talk like that? Don't be, okay? Don't be. See? <laughs> There's time for everything. And as you must have already confirmed, I'm no eunuch. Of course I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> and you should also know that my marriage will come naturally. Huh? I wish you luck then. Well, thank you. And please, please, next time you want to visit, kindly call, okay? Hey, you're right, King Jaja. Sorry, I told you. You come back. Oh, thank you. Look at today. Oh, thank you. But you never noticed. Why not? Five-year contract with the movie maker, Madon. Young man, you don't. Is it through the deal is what ten million dollars? No comments. We, we need we need confirmation to this, you know, because um, we like to know uh, how authentic is this that uh, you have a secret lover. Mind your business. Uh, uh, we like to. to uh, you, is, uh, you don't understand, young man. I was wondering what you're doing. Yeah, is, it it, is it true? Is it true? You know you, outside that it, you, you have a you, secret you, lover. How authentic is yes. this? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, then that means you must be serious with your studies. That way, the posters will be everywhere. Okay? Thank you. to steer this company in the right direction while I'm away. Yes. And also treat the minister with keep gloves. Because I think that is looking for the right circle to throw us out of this contract. Good that you know. Also, I want you to go to the building department and allow us up. Be sure that they approve our new site. I want us to build the filling station on my return. Okay. Good. Good. Now, Richard. Yes. Go to the inland revenue department. Make sure they get off our back for our return. I will try my best, sir. I'm not interested in that. Get them off my back. To be done, sir. Are you good? Miss Chikuka, are you with us? Yes, sir. Very good. Then, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all in 30 days. Have a pleasant trip, sir. a lot of money in that girl. Like she's the hardest thing in Hollywood. I'm not just gonna sit back and watch my money go to waste. Well, keeping late nights is not my idea. Wise investment, my dear. Well, no, no, I'm just gonna be uh, watching my clock go tick, tock, tick, tock. You know, when I'm with Jane, all right? Okay. Bon appetit. summer trip with Madame and Victor. I'm leaving you in charge of everything in my house. Take very good care of my house and the cars. Yes, sir. Good. I also want to do some extra work for me. Anything, sir. Just name it, sir. You'll be going to the office every day of the week to keep an eye on Dr. Roland. I always believed that he has an ace up his sleeve. So, note every visitor to that office while I'm away. No problem, sir. Take this. Pay it into your account. I'm sure it will be enough for you to take care of yourself until I return. Thank you, sir. Very grateful, sir. 
um, sa. What? Um, there's something I've been wanting to tell you, sir. Let's say it. Um, sir, um, my father has been ill for some time now and I've been hoping to bring him over to Lagos for treatment. Can I do it now, sir? <laughs> what discipline did you graduate in? Mechanical engineering, sir. Okay. And then you end up a driver, huh? Eh? Nigeria. So, what do you intend to do? End up a driver? Sir, I do intend on going for my master's later, sir. How can you be piling up degrees when your people are dying of malnutrition? Sir? Huh? <laughs> uh, why don't you join my business? Hmm? Listen, you, you, you've been a good boy, Pascal, honestly. It's all right. When I return, we'll straighten it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Meanwhile, bring your father for treatment and let me pick up the bill. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Pascal. Sir. Take good care of my house. No problem. While I'm sir. away. No problem, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Thanks. When well, I come back. Thanks. Yeah, it's on record that any time you travel out on vacation, a significant event takes place. Is this a sign of um, another military coup? Who the hell are you? I'm Mark of Ellen News. My friend, you got it all wrong. I did. Uh, but before the annulment of June 12, you had traveled a day earlier. That could be happenstance, or could we say a coincidence? Coincidence? Yes. Exactly. Is there going to be another coincidence? Excuse me. Sorry, Chief Magnus. Is there Excuse going to be another me. coincidence? Say that to please, 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 please. It's all I have. Please, you must save him. He must be alive. Please, I'm ready to do that, but it has to be immediately. And then what are you waiting for now, doctor? You have to deposit 200,000 naira. Good 200,000 naira. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Chief said that you should just you seem to understand. No deposit. No chief now. Nah. I mean, it's not to the chief that. Just 48 hours. 48 hours. Just like you. Mr. Fantastic. I'm so. I could have liked you. Mr. Lover. Oh, yeah. 
your lyrical lover Mr. Romantic Baby, I'm the best in this I give you a candlelight dinner Just for me and you Under the moon Sailing on the summer night crew I mean to rock your world, baby Set you free from a world so crazy Girl, surrender to my love Oh yeah, cause I'm the best indeed Oh baby, leave it to me Give you all the love that you need I'll take you right to the clouds And put your little mind at ease Oh baby, leave it to me Give you all the love that you need I'll take you right to the clouds Oh baby girl No love, I'm done I'll give you all the love without you need Love needs expression Push me so much Oh I'm so lucky It's been so great I got you out of my screen baby I need to my arms I'm living out my fantasy My fantasy where the god of my fantasies I'm playing through with master in the movie